fish that can do that. Look at those teeth. Woo! Good job, good job. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, the big Everybody, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC. We're certainly glad you joined us every Sunday morning. We're right here, WMDT 47 ABC. I've gotten it down pretty good now. Thanks a bunch, Terry. So listen, the boat's in the water. Not quite ready to go yet. Got to take it out over to Sunset Marina, do a little bit of work, put some bottom paint on it and that sort of stuff. But things are getting going in Ocean City. Rockfish in the back bay, some tall tog in the back bay, and the first flounder is right around the corner. So, we're gonna go out here, try a couple of different things. Whether we catch anything or not, we're gonna get you guys set up for the spring season so you can have success. Stay tuned after the break, we'll be right back. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Storm has the area's largest selection of girls' clothing. 10,000 square feet of girls' surfwear, featuring Billabong, Roxy, Volcom, O'Neill, and Ruka, and swimwear by L-Space and Magi, and many more. By far the largest selection of girls' surfwear that you need to be seen in this summer. Quiet Storm Surf Shop Boardwalk at North Division Street, right next to the Ocean City Arch. This winter, enjoy more of Ocean City for a little less. Enjoy seaside escapes and coastal cuisine. Enjoy small crowds and big fun. Enjoy rising with the tide and leave all worries behind. Find your reason to smile all winter long in Ocean City, Maryland. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City beach and boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right guys, so before we get started with this fishing today, uh, I've been answering a lot of questions about my trolling motor. You know, a lot of you know, last year I got a trolling motor installed on my Carolina skiff here, and I've been telling everybody that's been asking me, it is an absolute game changer when it comes to this still fishing back in Ocean City. You can actually use it for slow trolling, for flounder and that sort of thing, but if you're tog fishing, rock fishing at any of the bridges, fishing at the South Jetty or anything like that, it alleviates the need for a steel anchor and it is an absolute game changer, like I said. So to answer the questions, I have the Minn Kota Tarova Riptide trolling motor. It's got 80 pounds of thrust, it's got a 60 inch shaft, and it's 24 volts with the batteries. Now these engines can go anywhere from, I mean you can get one rock bottom installed and everything for 3,500 bucks, 4,000 bucks, or 
you can get lithium batteries and the whole nine yards with a charger and XYZ, and it might cost you close to $10,000 and anywhere in between there. Lots of local electronic shops are installing them now, and they are installing a lot of them. So if you're interested in getting one, you're going to want to call now because they're probably booked up until at least June, sometimes later than that, because of all the boats coming out of storage, wanting to put a new uh, trolling motor on their vessel, or they're doing work to their main engine, and they're just getting super busy. So if you want something like this, you're going to want to get it installed or get on the list very, very soon so here's how simple it is I like to power my unit up first it's just as simple as clicking this check mark here motor not found because it's not turned on right now simple as this one button I can also test my battery power I hit my battery test there I've got three batteries across that means I got plenty of battery to get us through this trip and probably a couple of other ones and then it's just as simple as this I step on the, the lock to disengage the motor lift it up lower it down into place let it slide and hit that locking nut that's adjustable you can pull it up and down depending on how deep you'd like to set it all right and now we're ready to go so whoops one forgot one thing and this is what i used to forget a bunch make sure you've got your puck turned on the puck is this little thing right here and that's going to show that you've got a really good connection between the engine the puck which is the gps signal and then also your remote and it's just as simple as this. Once you get into position, you see that little button there? It looks like an anchor. That's what it is. You hit that button and the engine is gonna do the rest of the work for you and keep you in what's called spot lock. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move over here to the Route 90 bridge where I'd like to sit. You can see we're switching around right now with the wind and the tide. It'll set just like a regular anchor will. And once I get into position, I won't move an inch. They've been in there before. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Arctic Heating and Air Conditioning is your number one source for all your heating, air conditioning, and electrical needs. Family owned and operated since 1982, servicing the Maryland and Delaware beaches and surrounding areas. Providing new installation, replacement, repair, maintenance, indoor air quality products, and electrical services. Giving your home the comfort you and your family deserve. Contact us and our team of highly trained professionals will provide the quality and care that makes Arctic the best company for you. Hi, it's Todd from Park Place Jewelers. We would love to help you celebrate all those special moments and occasions in your life. A new engagement, or an anniversary celebration, an incredible accomplishment, a cherished moment, a lifelong memory, landmark occasions, or a treat yourself present. So let Park Place Jewelers put a sparkle in your life with a gift of fine jewelry. Welcome to Premier Coatings and Flooring, your local experts in durable flooring solutions. Enhance your space with PCF's expertise in epoxy flooring, polished concrete, and industrial painting. Our applicators are driven by knowledge and passion, experienced in commercial flooring that combines style and functionality. PCF has worked with the local businesses in every industry. We even installed decorative epoxy floors for garages in a single day. PCF, building the mid-Atlantic region with flooring that works as hard as you do. Improve your vision, improve your life. Call now to schedule your exam appointment or bring your prescription in today. An Optical Galleria is the creator of Hook Optics, the hottest new brand of polarized sunglasses made to handle the most demanding environments. This award-winning practice has three convenient locations, West Ocean City, Centerville, and Easton, on the web at eyesandart.net and hookoptics.com. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, fishing apparel, eyewear, and ocean-inspired home decor from industry leaders like Penn, Shimano, Bait Masters, Costa, Smith Optics, Pelagic, Hook, Olakai, Extra Tough, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill in West Ocean City or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. 
All right, guys. So one of the one of the first things that we're able to do in Ocean City when the year starts off is rock fishing. Um, we've been lucky enough to have some really really mild uh, weather this winter. So much so that people were fishing for rockfish January, February, and really doing well catching some fish. Not surprising that March brings the suckiest weather of the entire season in. So we're starting to see some cold temperatures. Um, I'm bundled up today, man. Had to break out the Pure Lure hooded today because it's chilly. Got a really strong wind blowing out of the west today. So conditions can be tougher in March than they are in January and February sometimes. But what's happening is the water is warming up. We had low 40s over the past couple of weeks and now it's gotten into the mid 40s. So we're starting to see some more rockfish. Tall Togger down here around the Route 50 bridge, Martha's Landing, South and North Jetty. A couple of fish being caught here and there. And that's what we're gonna try. We're gonna see what we can catch, man. One of the first trips of the entire year for me. So I'm gonna just see what's biting back here. And rockfish is one of those things that you can pretty much get uh, a bite any time of the year if conditions are right and the weather's warm enough but especially toward middle and late March as we start to move into the spring. So what we're using, we're using the old thingamajig. I got Roy rigs on board, and this is our red thingamajig. Half ounce head on it, three and a half inch shad body, salt and pepper with that chartreuse tail. That thing kills them. And let's get set up. First thing I like to do when I do this is I'm just gonna tie this thing on real simple. You guys fish a bunch, you know this knot. It's just a cinch knot through the eye of the rig up around the main line five or six times you leave a loop down toward the bottom where the rig is that line goes through that loop and this stuff gets tightened down I'll wet it and then cinch it tight that's where the name comes from cinch that down tight that's ready to go some guys use a Palomar knot there um, there's one called a Rapala knot that's awful, awful good too. That leaves a loop in the line so it'll actually ride. Not necessarily, uh, don't necessarily need that right now. So I'm just using the cinch knot. Get rid of my tag end. And now a knot you're gonna wanna put into your arsenal. It's gonna get you through a lot of stuff. Tog fishing, which we're gonna do here in a little bit. Rock fishing, anything where you want the leader to be relatively long, but still be able to go through the guides on your rod called a double uni knot. I've showed you this once or twice before, but here we go again in detail. So, let me get a little bit of slack for that. There we go. All right, double uni knot. This is my monofilament going to my leader. Here's my main line going to the rod. I overlap those by about a foot and a half, two feet, and I'm gonna do the braid portion of the uni knot first. You make a loop, and you're going to go around your monofilament so that you've got both running here, the loop running around, and then you're going to take the tag end of your braid, you're going to go around both the monofilament and the braid five or six times through that loop that you've created, and then you're going to pull that tag end tight, and here's your first cinch of the uni knot. What's up? What's up, man? What's up, boy? Good to see you, Dana. Dana. All right, so now I've got one of uh, one of my double done. Now I'm going to take the monofilament side. Same thing on the monofilament side. I have both monofilament and braid together. Make a loop at the bottom. Monofilament now goes around both five or six times. One, two, three, four, five six and now I pull monofilament tight monofilament you're gonna want to wet you don't want that stuff to stretch out too much now I've got the cinch down here so as you can see what I've done is I've created two cinch knots both uni knots one here is a cinch one here is a cinch monofilament the braid and now I pull and those two come together and now you've got your double uni knot so that's a very very strong knot I'm gonna clip both of these as close as I can to my main line without cutting my main line. Okay, there's my braid. And then monofilament. I'll leave a little bit more of that tag on there so you can see it, but basically that's it. That's your double uni knot, very strong. And now, I've got a knot 
that I can run through the guides of my spinning rod. It can come all the way up here if I wanted to. And when I'm casting, it'll also slide through those eyes pretty easily. It'll slide through the eyes even on a conventional rod with smaller guides on it. But on a spinning rod with these larger guides, this will slide through there no problem. I can cast it as far as I'd like and try and catch a couple rockfish here at the Route 50 Bridge, see what's up. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with Luke and Laura from Sandmarks Marketing. Brand new book out this summer. Luke, tell me about it. Thank you, Scott. Destination Ocean City and Delaware Beaches has all the fun, cool family stuff, including dining, shopping, attractions, golf, and surfing. Don't forget fishing. <laughs> right. oh, that's fishing awesome. Too, that's Scott. awesome. <laughs> and you can find it all around town, I guess. You can. Look in your hotel room, look for the beach chair. And you'll be there. Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateague Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, so you can do some rock fishing at the Route 50 Bridge, rock fishing at the Route 90 Bridge. Flounder fishing is going to get good here over the next couple of weeks. We'll show you some techniques for that in just a minute. But one thing we're actually going to spend a little bit of time on today and hopefully get some bites with is tog fishing. Um, tog fishing in Ocean City usually starts sometime in March, goes all the way through until December sometimes. We've only got about a month and a half, two months where we don't have any fish in our bay. January and February, depending on the weather, um, that's when it gets a little bit too cold. They move off into the ocean. No tall back in the bay, but they are back here now. North Jetty, South Jetty, where we are right now. Martha's Landing, we're going to give a shot here in a couple of minutes. And it's a really, really simple fishery. Really tough to hook these fish, but once you get in the right spot, you are probably going to get bites. What I'm using today, same stuff I use for throwing thingamajigs. All right? Six foot JPR spinning spinning rod. Got my stuff on it. Hooked on OC, fishing OC, and my lucky flounder. I've got a Canyon uh, spinning reel on here. And then we've been using our deadly tackle tall jigs with much success. Any of you guys stopped by the booth during the Ocean City Boat Show, uh, we sold quite a few of these. Atlantic Tackle's got basically everything that we stock in it. I'm gonna try a one and a half ounce today because we got a little bit of current. And it's just as simple as this. You're gonna to wanna to put a little bit of a leader on here, just like we showed you that double uni knot a little while ago. And one thing I've been doing to try and optimize my hookups is doing a little stinger hook. So, this is just how simple a tog jig is. Basically, you tie this thing on here, and when you lower it to the bottom, it sits perfectly on the bottom. Your bait's gonna be presented just like that. But I'm kind of a novice, right? I'm a novice tog fisherman, whether you like to believe it or not. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try and optimize my hookups, my hookup ratio. I'm using shrimp back here. A lot of people don't know about this. If, everybody, if you think it's a secret, I'm blowing it. But right now, 
I'll tell you right now, Crafts to Go's got fresh shrimp. You can get shrimp at Food Lion, Walmart, any frozen, uncooked shrimp will work for you this time of the year. I like to put two hooks in it, one through the top but where the head used to be, one back by the tail, and then this little stinger hook is what we call it, is gonna go right in here by the head. That's it. All right, that way that little toll comes around, he's gonna be munching, he might get the jig, he might come around this way, he might get the stinger hook. We'll drop him down here in the bottom of the rocks, try the south jetty here for a couple minutes first, and see if anybody's home. And if not, we'll tell you guys how you can get on some of this flounder action that should be starting over the next couple of weeks. gets caught <laughs> a couple of guys that, right after we started telling you how we can catch these fish those guys pulled in and caught a tog right there I don't think it's gonna be a keeper but that's the idea man that's the idea fish along these rocks um, like I say we're using shrimp today green crabs work fiddler crabs work you can even use blue crabs peeler crabs um, I've seen clams used back here sometimes mussels but it's got to be fresh and uncooked obviously uh, tog are a bottom feeder so what they do is they forage around the rocks they forage around jetties pilings that sort of thing waiting for something that they can crunch into and suck the juice out of shrimp are very very easy to get into right the shell is just basically a membrane whereas some things like crabs oysters and other stuff they have to crunch through it tog have no problem doing that with those with those uh, stingy teeth so we're hoping we can get on one right now our size limit is 16 inches we're allowed 16 inches and up and currently we're allowed four pit fish per person. That changes later in the year. We've also got a closed season, so make sure you go to your local tackle shop, find out what's in season. Size limit will be 16 inches the entire time, but our season actually closes on May 15th until I think it's July 1st, and then it reopens at two fish, and then opens back up for four fish again sometime toward October. All right, so make sure you know your rules and regulations because the DNR man's not gonna say, oh, you didn't know? No problem. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Featuring the finest and largest fleet of charter boats in the Mid-Atlantic region, the Ocean City Fishing Center has been the premier spot for offshore sports fishing for four decades. Whether it's a family outing, a corporate event, or just a day on the water with your friends, all our charters are led by Coast Guard licensed captains and boast knowledgeable crews dedicated to helping you catch the big one. Call us today and book your charter. We accommodate groups of all sizes. The Ocean City Fishing Center. The locals know it's the best place to go. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the Dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Racetrack Marine, the area's premier Tidewater Center Console and Sylvan Pontoon Boat Dealer. In stock or custom order Tidewater starting at 18 feet and Sylvan Pontoons up to 27 feet. Service, maintenance, and trailers. Find it all here at Racetrack Marine. We buy, broker, and sell pre-owned boats too. Deep discounts and the best stem to stern warranty available. Say goodbye to last year's boat repairs. Stop dreaming and start boating today. Racetrack Marine, the place that does it all. 6G. Network. 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 For over 40 years, the Dough Roller has been an Ocean City tradition, serving award-winning fresh dough pizza and our signature buttermilk pancakes served all day. Visit our website for menus, location details, and hours. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. 
They're listening and they're getting excited. Hey, good thing they were listening yeah. 30 seconds Co- ago. They're like, coffee and donuts, hell with this. <laughs> we're going to Harborside this afternoon. I just saw Lennox and Bobby on TV, man. They were cooking something nasty up. That's Not nasty right. in a good way. Yeah, in a good way, yeah. Great yes, to see you yes, again, yes. brother. Good to see Great you, to you too, see man. Again. And as mentioned, Harborside Bar and Grill, folks, West Ocean City, no longer across the street from the Hooked on OC Studios. We moved to this, like, swank joint around the corner. Got too much going on, man. Um, like, people are going like this. <laughs> we need something done. We need something done. I need some of that. Where, where's the studio at? <laughs> I'm just joking. That was, yeah? just, that was dusty fingers. <laughs> oh, oh, I got gotcha. you. Oh, the stuff we got on the tuna, right? I had we, that on my fingers. Yeah, but that, that's what we're going to talk about in just a second. But we are right around the corner still from Harborside Bar and Grill. You guys got boat slips out here. People pull up, get served right into boat slips. Obviously, still have a table service in here. Things have opened yes, all do. up since COVID's all yeah, are going away. Yeah, man. We're rolling, um, rolling. And, and you've got fresh tuna coming in, scallops, all that kind of stuff, right off the dock. Right out of that water. Yep. Yes, so sir. you can take advantage of things like this, what we got sizzling right now. Mm-hmm. Then we got some fresh tuna, man. We got it dusted in a light roasted garlic pepper sauce. Oh my goodness. Something that you can pick up at any store. Yep. Uh, this is something that we uh, every now and then run as a special, but okay. it's also something that's simple to make. Go to the local seafood market, pick up some fresh tuna. It's something that you can do at home. Yep. It's easy. You know, if, if, if things are a little tighter or whatever, you can't, you can't go out. I got all these out. ingredients at home. Maybe yeah, not yeah, those. Whatever those are, you're going to tell me they aren't a minute. Oh, they're but... wontons. Okay. So you can buy they them at the yeah. store, man. You yeah. can buy them, put them in an the oven, toast them up. Or if you got an air fryer, whatever, you can drop them in that yep. and, and toast them up. A uh, little bruschetta mix, a little mango salsa, things okay. you can also buy in the store. Seaweed salad, I know you can buy in the store, but maybe not every store. Sure. But most. And cabbage, lemon and lime, we're good to go. You man. got it all, man. Yeah. You know? And like I said, not might not have it in the house, but it's right at the grocery store. Easy. All yeah. Of. Yeah. And and it's, this, uh, is, this is heart shaped. Did you do that on purpose? Well, I figured, you know, date night, you yeah. know, it might not be heart shaped necessarily for you. Okay, see, that's but... what I was hoping for. <laughs> so when you go ahead and dust it, man, you just put it in some hot oil. Be careful you don't splash yourself. And uh, yeah. with tuna fish, uh, when you cook it, it's the easiest fish to cook because uh, when it starts coming together, you can see a little red right there. Yep. Now the white comes together, the closer that gets, that's what you are. It's like scallops, man. You watch it from top and bottom, and as soon as it yeah. gets to where you want it, as your your cook, your wellness is concerned, you take it off. Yeah, you can go from rare, you know, mid-rare, mm-hmm. medium, more mid-well. Like, I know you like it. So I'm a mid-well leave. guy. You and Messick, it's like, shh, shh, let's go. Yeah, like it, I right? said, man, you can drop the fins off of yeah, it. And straight, yeah, dude, you know? Yeah, not for these kinds of dishes. But, I don't mind uh, it with some avocado and sushi style, but... And this kind of dish I like a little bit more done. You know right what? Now, and, uh, right now, it's actually looking perfect for me. Instead of seaweed salad, because sometimes it might be a little bit difficult to find that and yep. you know your average store around here, but you can always get avocado and replace the avocado yeah, yeah, with the yep, yep. instead of seaweed salad. I mean, it, it's but it's, the way it's dealer's s- choice right here sure. with this stuff, man. The you way know? you're serving it here at the restaurant when it's on a special, what are you putting on there? Special right here. The way we're going to serve it well, at the restaurant, we use the wontons, okay, seaweed. Pull it off here. Let's get cooked. Let's get put together. Seaweed salad. Uh, there you go. The bruschetta mix and some sauce. Okay. All right, so here we go. Tuna's cooled down, sliced nice and thin like we like. Mine are a little bit more done than yours. Yes, sir. Now, what do we got going on here? What are, we, what are, we, what are, oh, what are, what are these underneath? And then what's on top these of These are them? your wontons. Like I said, you can cook them in the oven. You can put them in an the air fryer. Or if you have a, a fryer at home, you can cook them there. Yep. Uh, on top of one, we got the bruschetta. Uh, on top of the other, we got the mango. On top of that is our sea, seaweed salad. Mm. Uh, the tuna, according to how you like it, and I like it. Uh-huh. And uh, so at Harvest Side, when we serve it, we serve it with a balsamic glaze. Oh, but we also have a, that's this one, right? That would be that one. Okay, I'll we try also that. have our famous seafood <clears throat> sauce, and we're going to do a little bit of both. Nice, we'll try both. I love the balsamic, man. Oh, that's there you go. They're yours. They're a little bit more. Okie dokie. And I'm thinking that we're going to probably have to eat these over the plate, right? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> We're straight. My bad. There you go. Yeah, we can probably <laughs> eat them over the plate if you want to. <laughs> yeah, this is one of them lean and grub type things right here, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Why does that happen to us? Look at this. This is yeah. so... Because you plan it, that's yeah, how right. it happens to us. Look All at right, this yeah. thing. Hold on. I give Dave one good look at that. Oh, yeah, sunlight. Go, look at that. Two different, two different ways. Both going to be delicious. Holy smoke. Go for it. I'm right. eating over here because those are going to the crew, and I don't want my, my stuff falling out of my mouth all over their food. Okay. I can do that too, man. Mm. Guess what, though? Good God! Huh. Surprisingly, stays together pretty good. Like, if this was a chip, this would be all over the place. So, oh my God!
<laughs> I'm Wardrobe you, man. change. Crunchy, salty, hey. sweet, sour. Man, you got everything, dude. If you and your girl ever split up, don't call me. Um, but I will come see you here at the Harborside. Phone number? 410-213-1846. First, you're not going to have a bad bite of food. Almost <laughs> guarantee it. See you in a minute. <laughs> Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Senior Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. Get ready for four days of family fun in the sun at Spring Fest. Enjoy amazing food, live entertainment, unique artisan products, and more. With over 50 new vendors, specialty cocktails, and enhanced selection of beer and wine, you won't want to miss this free event May 4th to the 7th. Enjoy two stages featuring 30-plus performances, including headline and ticketed shows like Shadows of the 60s, a tribute to Motown supergroups, Collective Soul, and Marty Stewart and his fabulous superlatives. Gather your family and celebrate Spring Fest along the shore. Visit OCOcean.com slash SpringFest. You love helping people fulfill their dream of home ownership. Whether that means staying late to show a house or missing the beach, you continue to work hard. But you're busy doing your job. Let us take care of your title and settlement needs. You need a partner that will match your hard work and dedication. That means getting Eastern Title and Settlement. So you can go from working hard to working smart. Eastern Title and Settlement. We close anywhere, anytime. And now back for more Hooked on OC.
it's, it had been good today, man. Yeah, he said he hadn't had a fight. He smashed him. He hadn't, he hadn't had a fight all day long. Yeah. Yeah. I got news for you. Where's the flounder? Did you find him? He's going to tell you. He's going to me. Oh, hey, tell him to go to congrats. <laughs> tell him to congrats. All right, yeah, man. Yeah, congratulations. All right, so folks, there you go. Just like I was telling you just a little bit ago. Now I'm gonna show you how to get rigged up for him. The first flounder of the season was just caught. So, tell you when we're filming this episode. March 26th, 3.43 p.m., Dakota Bittner. He's up in the thoroughfare. We were up there trying to route 90 bridge for rockfish. We came back through the thoroughfare, heading back here to the tall fishing grounds. We saw one other boat, and we saw our good friend Chris Tillman up there. And sure enough, they caught it. This water is absolutely beautiful. A little chilly today. You know, it's 48 or so degrees. That's warm enough, as, as warm as the water's been over the past couple of weeks. But first flounder of the season is now official. Congratulations to Dakota Bittner. Uh, caught it on a live minnow in the thoroughfare. And in just a second, I'll show you how to get rigged up for him. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Just what exactly does Okaya mean? Okaya means strength. Okaya means dependability. Okaya means value. Okaya means fishing. This winter, enjoy more of Ocean City for a little less. Enjoy seaside escapes and coastal cuisine. Enjoy small crowds and big fun. Enjoy rising with the tide and leave all worries behind. Find your reason to smile all winter long in Ocean City, Maryland. Get ready to make lasting memories at Jolly Roger Amusement Park. This will be our last sale before the season starts to buy your discounted passes for this summer. Visit us online at JollyRogerPark.com and check out the passes for all of our parks. From March 8th through April 6th, use special code JOLLYBEAN2023 to save 25% off on all passes and merchandise. Make 2023 another Jolly Summer! 6G network 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 And now back for more hooked on OC Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you for tuning in to Hooked on OC this week. We are Anglers Advantage time. We always come to you toward the end part of the show and bring you something special from Sunset Marina, Atlantic Tackle, or today, Sunset Provisions, my old stomping grounds. Yes, sir. Manager Brian Minty in the house. They're going to spell it correctly right down here. <laughs> B-R-Y-A-N-M-I-N-D-T-E. They've been good. And listen, man, we talked over the phone over the Ocean City Boat Show. I actually saw you at the Ocean yeah, City yeah, Boat Show. Was that was time. a crazy yeah, good event. Very cool. Um, and you, you got some new stuff going on, and you got some sales still going on. So we do. What's up? Yeah, so we've got some leftover sales coming on from the holidays, and we've got a lot of new items coming in the store. We've yeah. been doing a lot of purchasing, just like we do every year during the off-season. Just really stock yeah make room absolutely yeah. absolutely so a lot of the stuff we're putting on sale we still have on sale from the holidays scales apparel 40 percent off deep apparel 40 percent off as long as supplies last we've got a little bit left from yep. what we did in the holidays and that's until it's gone yeah absolutely okay. all of it yeah. so come check it out yeah 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 and you got some great stuff you got shorts show me absolutely shorts. yeah the board, yeah it's, it's really a lot of the good stuff we're just trying to get some older inventory out so deep board yep. shorts they're you know we're putting that stuff out there that's one of my favorites I, you put a patriotic flounder on a shirt man that's that's me yeah really really cool design yeah, and there's more than cool. this yep um but deep and scales deep both and scales off. yep 
We, and we've even got a little bit of uh, white Marlin open shirts left too, which people still come and pick through. Oh, absolutely. So those are 50% off uh, still. So okay. yeah, come in and check those and out. And that's always got to be a fresh design. 50th anniversary it's, this yeah, year, so they've they come they out with that. something fresh. Yeah, yeah, they showed that at the boat show. Really they had cool. a brand new at the Ocean City mm -hmm. boat show. It looks really, really good. Yeah. It's a silver anniversary, I guess it is. Yeah, right? Yeah, for yeah. 50th. Yeah. For 50th, yeah. So, that's, so it's, it's going to be a really big event this yeah. year. And we've got some new designs coming too. Our Sunset Marina branded stuff. We've yep. got some new designs coming in. Uh, new Pure Lore stuff coming in. Obviously, we always still have the Duffy uh, Boatworks yep. apparel. Nice little display here. For yeah, that. yeah, really they, cool. they do. That really does great. And, so. and and honestly, I think you're you're the only like um, satellite shop to be able to buy this stuff. Yeah, for a yeah. lot of this stuff. I mean, stuff. they, they sell know, it online, just, but I, I think that we're the only brick and mortar store where you can go and look at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same with us. You know, fishing right. OC stuff. A lot of people ask for the the back of blue stuff. Got one on right now. Yeah. Um, you folks you bought a lot of it at the Ocean City Boat Show. We appreciate that, but we ran out of a lot of stuff. So I said, hey, go over to Provisions and check it out. He's got sweatshirts here, long sleeve tech. All that stuff is getting restocked, yep. um, and they'll have it in here in the next couple of weeks. But what's on sale right now? You can't really you can't really beat it, man. Right. Forty percent off on that stuff is really yeah, good. Yeah. You're talking and tech shirts you've got left. Tech shirts. There's some hoodies. The board shorts we talked about. Yep. T-shirts, hats, anything. You know, we've got some scales and deep hats. Yeah. So all any, that, if any, it says scales are deep on it, it's forty percent off. Forty percent off. Okay, yeah. remember that, guys. Price, anything yeah. that's Duffy Boatworks, Sunset Marina, Fishing OC, or otherwise is just regular price, mm -hmm. just because that stuff's getting restocked. But anything says scales or deep on it, forty percent off yep. until it's gone. So yep. you see this, and then you can't get in here for a week or two. Um, I wouldn't wait too long though, because no, people it, see it, this, they're going to come and right. get it, and the sizes will go. Yeah, we we sold a lot through the holidays. We've got a good bit left, but we're but it's moving fast. Right on. So, yeah, and you guys are doing really well with the pure lure stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's been a that's been a lot of fun. Surprising, we, yeah, right? It is. Yeah, that's yeah. very cool. So we've got some branded stuff with them too. So we've got some pure lure stuff that you can only get here. Uh, you can't even get it over at their at their. Oh, right also, yeah. So very it's, cool. It's cool. Yeah. That's the way to do it, man. Yeah. You work together like that, and have these collabs. Absolutely. It works out for yeah, yeah, it's very cool. Brendan's great to work with. Yeah, he really is. Yeah. Anything anything new or otherwise coming up? I mean, we're going to no, be back in here in a couple of weeks with all the get ready for yeah. the summer stuff yep. with paint and sanding yeah, and all, all that, that kind of stuff. stuff is coming up. So we, yep. we'll, we'll do some more Angler's Advantage coming up for yeah, that. Absolutely. And for gear, as far as fishing gear, we've got a lot of new stuff coming in that we'll be, we'll be putting out there as well. Right on. Uh, the hours of the store right now are Monday through Saturday, 8.30 to 4.00. Uh, through April, sometime in the beginning of April, we'll go 8.30 to 5, and then we'll open back up on Sundays. Then Seven too, days a week then, too? Yeah. Yeah, that so, makes sense. Yeah. All right, guys, Sunset Provisions, West Ocean City, right here at the Sunset Marina property, the first entrance that you can get to that's not blocked, right in front of the space, 410-213-0081. Uh, and if you feel like looking at stuff online, Really not much there. No. Sunsetmarine.com. You yeah. Can find the fishing report and the weather and that kind right. of thing. Right. And they have the store There's too out. much in here. Yeah. There's too much in here. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 10 pounds of stuff in a five pound box. Come check it out. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. At Spencer Yachts, your dreams can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style of boat building and transformed it into a world class, high performance sport fishing yacht. Spencer Yachts Brokerage is Spencer Yachts' in-house trusted yacht broker with extensive market knowledge. New to Spencer Yachts Brokerage is the beautiful 77-foot Jarrett Bay Boatworks Sportfish, Mama Who. Check out Mama Who and all that Spencer Yachts Brokerage has to offer at SpencerYachtsInc.com. Aquatraction Custom Design Marine Flooring Products have exceptional traction wet or dry, making your boat safer, cleaner, and more comfortable. Aquatraction Flooring is durable, stain resistant, and backed with 3M adhesive specifically designed to withstand the harshest marine environments. With 23 nationwide reps, Aquatraction has an unmatched 3-year warranty, provides the fastest turnaround time, and has unparalleled customer service. Check out Aquatraction.com to find out why I've got it in my boat and how it's charter proven all around the country. Hawkins Electric, a trusted name since 1918, is now providing commercial and residential services to the Eastern Shore. We place emphasis on customer service through communication and quality work. Hawkins Electric specializes in marinas, pedestals, and boat lifts, along with a vast array of electrical services. Contact us to have one of our highly skilled licensed technicians dispatched to your property, home, or marina to address your electrical needs. Hawkins Electric, wired for service. Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry. Combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. 
Join PYY Marine during the White Marlin Open, August 7th through 11th, 2023. On Wednesday, August 9th, PYY will be having tons of fun and watching the boats come in right on the bay at the second annual Waterfront Wednesday Tent Party. Give us a call at 410-255-1771 to secure your tickets. Mention Hooked on OC and receive a free Under Armour t-shirt. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, guys, last but certainly not least, now that I got the news about that first flounder of the season, that has just got me amped to go do some flounder fishing. Uh, it's still a little early. As you guys can see from fishing today, we were more wanting to get out here and get you guys prepared for the spring season. We're gonna do individual shows on all of the fishing that we talked about uh, over the course of today's episode, right? We're gonna be doing rock fishing at the Route 50 and Route 90 bridges. We're gonna be flounder fishing in the thoroughfare and all over the place here real soon. We're gonna be tog fishing down here at Martha's Landing South Jetty as these things get a little bit better fishing wise. You can see it's pretty slow today. We've got Vince Canuli, a couple other people fishing around us. Nobody is having much luck. Except for that first flounder up in the thoroughfare, Dakota Bittner caught. Uh, it's been a pretty slow day, but like I said, we wanted to get you out here, get you prepared for what's about to come as the spring season moves into Ocean City and all these species start to show up in better numbers. And what's my favorite kind of fishing, buddy? Flounder fishing. Flounder fishing is my joint. So I am getting set up. Now that, that first fish has been captured, I'm going to start going because now I know those fish are back here in the bay. And here's what I use. There she is, baby. The Calcutta TE, the 250, this thing is about 20 years old, still doing me really, really good. I've either got that on a Dave Rom special, I was doing, uh, giving my buddy a little bit of, of uh, memory here over the course of the past couple of months. Dave Rom built me this first ever Curly Q I've got, or I'll be switching real, real soon to the JPR Curly Q. You guys can get it at JPR.com, makes a great fishing rod. That comes down to, if you don't know, now you know. That's our deadly double, guys. Dale Timmons, my very, very good friend, came up with this design. This is a very, very extensive flounder rig, all right? Very extensive, covers a lot of territory, and I think that's why it does so well. That combined with the fact that these spinner blades provide a lot of action. Once that thing gets going underwater, that's gonna attract things, all right? And here's how easy these are to use. You're gonna tie that onto your main line, okay? That simple cinch knot I showed you just a little while ago. This rig comes with everything ready to go. It's got the swivel and everything ready to go. Tie it right to the swivel. Down at the bottom of your rig here, you're gonna have the sinker loop. They come with the sinker snap on them, all right? You can use the sinker snap and put it right on there, or I got the question quite a bit, hey, my sinker won't go on that sinker snap. Then just bypass the sinker snap by turning the loop into a sinker loop like you normally would for an offshore rig. Go through the eye of the sinker. Squeeze her down a little bit there. Go through the eye of the sinker. <laughs> That's about how my fishing day is going. All right, so you're gonna wanna find a lead that's got a hole in it. There we go, through the eye of the sinker. And then you take your loop, wrap that around the bottom of the sinker, and then you pull it tight and you're ready to go. You can put any size sinker on that loop, any size sinker but usually anything up to about three ounces will also fit on the clip. And then these hooks, just as simple, caught me, can't catch anything else today, just as simple as using gulp, right? We use otter tails on here quite a bit. We also use gulp. First part of the season, this is a go-to. Also otter tails available over at Atlantic Tackle. I like pink and I like white. And I like the split, a short split version. Here's how easy this is, guys. You grab a gulp through the nose, down until it comes out the top of the body, and that's it. There is a right and a wrong way to hook a gulp, all right? That's the correct way. You will maybe catch fish if you do this, because the gulp's still gonna do its job. You may catch a fish if you do that, but you are more likely gonna have better luck if you thread that on there like you would a jig, a jig or a shad and have it fish just like that. That way, that hook's gonna present out of the top of the head and as that bait goes along, flounder comes around like this, they usually eat head first, gonna get that hook bam and hook them. 
right? Same thing on the top hook. We'll get quite a few bites on the top hook, surprising number of bites on the top hook. Usually go with a little bit different size on one of those and then see which one's doing better for me. Same thing out the top. That's it, man. This rig is ready to go. Simple as that. Two gulps or an otter tail and a minnow. Chartreuse deadly double. And then watch this action. Take a look at that, Dave. Look at that spinner blade. See that spinner blade buzzing? That's exactly what's happening while you're down there drifting for these flounders. And that's why they attract so many fish. All right, there you go, man. You can see why that rig is so effective. That spinner blade is working overtime. That's also one of the reasons that we don't recommend the deadly double for the ocean. Once you start fishing in anything greater than 50 feet of water, you got a really, really strong current, that spinner blade will just get everything tangled up because it's working overtime. But back here in the bay, that's my go-to. Deadly double, chartreuse, pink, salmon red, orange, and white. All of them do really, really well depending on the time of year you're fishing. Let me show you this. So, you guys might be used to seeing this packaging. Little bit of change coming as we work through our inventory. But the fishing OC tackle is now moving into Deadly Tackle. All right, you can get this at deadly-tackle.com. Takes you right to our online store. Same rigs, same everything, just a different package. So if you see, go to Atlantic Tackle or any other one of our partner shops, look for that Deadly Tackle. You might be seeing that sometimes right next to the fishing OC stuff as we phase out this packaging. But there you go, guys. First flounder of the season is in the books. Congratulations to Dakota Bittner. Um, we're gonna close things up here in just a minute, man, but even though we didn't catch any fish, hope we, hopefully we dropped a little bit of knowledge on you to get you ready for the spring season. This is all the stuff that I'm gonna be using over the course of the next couple of months as tall, tall, rockfish, flounder, and even more moving to our back bays. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. How much protection from the beach would you need to match the Arctic Air Coastal Series air conditioner? Still not enough. Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. Welcome to Premier Coatings and Flooring, your local experts in durable flooring solutions. Enhance your space with PCF's expertise in epoxy flooring, polished concrete, and industrial painting. Our applicators are driven by knowledge and passion, experienced in commercial flooring that combines style and functionality. PCF has worked with the local businesses in every industry. We even installed decorative epoxy floors for garages in a single day. PCF, building the mid-Atlantic region with flooring that works as hard as you do. Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs.
You don't buy an ordinary chair for the beach, so why would you buy an ordinary air conditioner for the beach? Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, guys, listen, if you were able to stick through the entire show and made it to the end, we appreciate it very much. Um, we thought you could make a fishing show with no fish. Well, we got to see one. Those guys caught a, uh, caught a tog over there on the South Jetty, and Dakota Bittner caught that first flounder of the season up in the third pair today, even though we didn't get a, uh, get a look at it. Pretty nice and happy today. But, like I said at the top, this wasn't about catching fish today. This was about getting ready to catch fish. And I am. That's what's happening with me right now. Check it out. Ready to roll, man. Right? Packed up. All the deadly doubles and stuff that I'm going to be using for flounder fishing here now that first fish is caught. There's the tall jig box. All ready to rock. Different sizes, a couple different colors, all ready to roll. Here's the casting box. Thingamajigs. Roy rigs. All ready to roll. That's what this episode was about, folks. Getting you guys set up. A couple of quick knots. A couple of leader suggestions, a couple of rod and reel suggestions, a couple of different spots that we hit. It's all about getting you guys ready for what is on the horizon. Things are about to break loose here. I'll look and give you 47 and a half. 47 and a half degrees is a little bit chilly still. Not too chilly for some flounder, rock fish, and tog, and that sort of thing to be around, but chilly enough to make it for a slow day of fishing if you don't sit there all day long. And like some of the guys we saw out there, they caught absolutely nothing today too, but they're ready to go. You can get ready to go too. Atlantic Tackle, right at the end of the harbor here, has everything that we used today, um, and they'll have all of it throughout the season. Congratulations to Dakota Bittner. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna head back out here and try and catch the second flounder of the Ocean City season while I drop my good friend Dave Messick off here for a quick bite to eat at the Harborside Bar and Grill. Guys, thanks very much for joining us for this episode of the show. I promise you, next show, fish. Going in Lake Crisco. See you next time.